Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! Ha <laughs> 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 Or dance parties! Oh, we can play so many games up there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room! <laughs> huh? It's still the same as before! Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Oh, I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? <laughs> are way more trouble than they're worth. Well, oh. What if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. <laughs> Look at that! I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh no! Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty cat oh. paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Let's learn new things with kitty cats.
Choose a topic and let's learn. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash, and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out. Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the good deeds agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. to go get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens, some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help. <laughs> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. The restaurant. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kittens to a restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. We're celebrating with our favorite meal tonight. This place has got the best pumpkin pie in the entire town. So awesome! 
Hush, kittens. You must mind your manners at a restaurant this night. Oh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, sir. Allow me to escort your family to your table. Here we are. It's a picture from your wedding. You looked really good back then, Mom. <laughs> looked back then? Mommy and Daddy still look just as good. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, we know what we'd like to order. Can you please bring us the specialty of the house, the pumpkin pie? But of course. This is boring, guys. Is this any way to have an anniversary celebration? I expected something really fun. Where are the fireworks and balloons? Why are there no rose petals falling from the ceiling? And aren't Dove supposed to hold up a congratulations banner? Uh, this can't be much fun huh? for our poor parents. even better. Well, we can ask the piano player to play a song that our parents love. We can ask the waiter to light some nice romantic candles when he brings us our pie. That's a great idea, Cookie. And I know something we can use instead of rose petals. Pink napkin pieces. Awesome. Operation Celebration begins now. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Daddy? Mm -hmm. May we go to the restroom to wash our paws? Mm -hmm. You may, kittens. Just be careful. The kittens tried their very best to help their parents enjoy their special night. Hmm? Pudding made arrangements with the pianist. As did Cookie with the waiter. <laughs> and Candy collected napkins. I figured out how to turn off the light. The candles will look better in the dark. Now we just need to wait until they bring our pumpkin pie out. Look, it's huh? coming now! All right, it's time! I'm very sorry. Mr. Waiter Cat, you were supposed to light the candles when you brought our pie out. But that wasn't your pie, little ones. It was for that gentle cat there. Whew. Here comes yours now. Oh, no. We wanted to make this the perfect celebration, but we just ruined everything. <laughs> we can see that you tried hard, kittens. It means a lot to us. <laughs> However, it's better if we started heading home. I'm very sorry for all this. I'd like you to have our pie as an apology. Oh, no worries. But you have something big to celebrate, don't you? So please, take it home with you. I have a really good idea. Welcome to Le Fantastic Kitty Cat Restaurant. Might I suggest that you order the specialty of the house? Pumpkin pie. Enjoy. Happy anniversary, my dear wonderful wife. Happy anniversary, darling. Congratulations! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats made a lovely celebration, just like in a proper restaurant. It was wonderfully festive and very touching for their mommy and daddy. Willpower. One day, daddy baked some lovely muffins. Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. 
Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookies, you've got to use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. Back in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna take huh? these into the kitchen. That way, they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah. No! Remember to use your willpower. Oh. We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking Whoa. you home. Muffins! Tasty muffin! Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow! Look at how fluffy they are! <gasps> Bet they're super yummy as well. <laughs> Give me the muffins! No, give them to me! Go. Oh. oh no! You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried, we honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins! That means we win! Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. <sighs> Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! And remember when I tried volleyball? Uh, 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 we need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow!
Sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. And he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie, we're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Ow! Oh, cookie, that hurt. Stop! I'm not Cookie. I'm Cheeky. No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that. I'm Cheeky. Try and catch me if you can. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. Huh? Track Cheeky down! Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet! <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky. Ha <laughs> 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 
You'll never catch me! Oh, yeah? Kittens, what happened here? Cheeky was up to no good, as always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing him. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the ball. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh. I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten? My kitchen mitt puppet? Aww. Oh. Oh. It wasn't me. It was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La 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 la. Um. Sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. <laughs> The kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. Yeah, Sir Goofy uh, McPook. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Oh. Oh. Cookie, stop! Oh. Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line. Oh, 
Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. Use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea.
Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together? So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. The Sweet Truth One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This spot is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels, all flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm. got it, we just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies, great cookies. Come and try some great cookies. Hi there. Hey, guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey! You guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something, something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> the magic cookie from Kitty Cats. Try one now. Oh, whoa. We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working. I'm still on the ground. I should be flying by now. Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all. Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie. Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. 
These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Clowning around with Boris. One day, the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Huh? Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that won't work. When something's funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. It would be really strange to hear laughter, but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. Ah! The kittens went to help Boris with his routine. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip uh. on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go uh. on, you got this. Uh. 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 Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la. La la la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. <laughs> Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Boris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. <laughs> And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. Forgive and forget. One day the kittens decided to build a model of their home. 
Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome. All that's left is to cover it with colored paper. Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, oh. all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. Uh, all right. Now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered Pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and cookie. I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Kittens on Time. One day, Cookie, Pudding, Candy, and Mustard were playing on the playground. I'm 
putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Mm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. I'm sorry. I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time. everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. <sighs> the next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast, then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did Ooh. somebody order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> But the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, Kindly stuff huh? your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever. I mean, super big. <sighs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea. Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off. <laughs> if Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since. Junior Archaeologists. The kittens and mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. Whew. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. 
Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Wow! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! My my, darling. It looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kitten's special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh. A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, Good morning, morning, sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> <laughs> The kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here, and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. Nope. I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. The little things in life. One day, the kitty cat family decided to visit Grandpa. You'll go paddling with Grandpa this afternoon, and after we'll have extra yummy treats for tea. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Oh, I need to help Daddy in the kitchen. We'll be leaving in a half an hour. That means we have more time to play. Okay, think fast. Daddy was talking to Grandpa on the phone. We'll bring our inflatable kayak over for a little paddling. Excellent. I'll gather some strawberries for tea. Don't bother with little things like that, Dad. I'm bringing one of my famous cheese pies for tea. Okay, I can't wait to see you all. Changed the time setting on the clock. It's gone back by 15 minutes. Righto. The inflatable kayak. Check. 
Paddles? Fishing rods, and most important of all, your life jackets. Hmm, and just enough time to make sure the pie gets baked through. We need to make the time right again. I'll hit it again. That'll make it move back. That didn't work. Whatever. It's just a little thing. It doesn't matter. Nobody looks at clocks anymore. They get the time on their phone. Let's play. Honey, something's burning. This doesn't make any sense at all. According to the living room clock, uh -huh. this pie should have stayed in the oven for 15 more minutes at least. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's all right. We'll bring Grandpa some jam instead of the pie. Well, bye-bye, Jam. Oh, dear. We need to clean up this broken glass. Quick, we need to beat the traffic to get to Grandpa's on time. The kayak fell off the roof! Ah, uh, I forgot to secure it to the roof because I was thinking about the jam. Daddy had to go back to get the boat and secure it to the roof. While he did, the traffic got worse. Uh, this might take a while. Huh? Hello, family! What took you all so long? Hello! Hi there, Pa. We're a bit later than we expected to be, but I think we still have time for some paddling. I'm afraid not. By the time we get the boat blown up, the sun will have set. This really is not our lucky day. We're sorry. This is all our fault. We accidentally knocked the clock and moved the hand so the time changed. We thought it wasn't a big deal. But because of what we thought was a little thing, a bunch of other things went wrong. Like the pie being cooked too long and burning. Ah. And because of that, Mommy had to bring jam instead. And all the jars broke. And cleaning up the mess in broken jars made Daddy forget to secure the kayak right. And going back for the kayak made us stuck in traffic. One little mistake with the clock messed everything up. Now it's no paddling pie or jam. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Let's pay more attention to the little things. Excellent advice, kittens. The little things in life are often the most important of all. We can paddle some other time. Don't you worry. As for yummy things to eat, how about fresh strawberries? Strawberries! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Good thing that Grandpa still decided to gather some strawberries. And the kittens realized that even a small thing can have a big effect. Like little strawberries brightening up a frustrating day. <laughs>